Okay, so we're at our next question, which is, let me just show you the question. Um, right, so, if you can see this. So, first of all, we are in uh, chapter 24, and this is the second bit of probability, okay? So it says, draw a tree diagram to show all possible outcomes when two unbiased dice are thrown at the same time. Okay, so unbiased means there's no favoritism um, and they should be pretty much equal. Okay, All right now I have already pre drawn this uh, tree diagram for you. Okay, showing all the possible outcomes. Now it is quite, um, it's not the best drawn and even if you were to do this on, on, on your own piece of paper it would you would struggle to, to get it on one one side and, and to see all the numbers. But let me just explain what's happening here. Okay. So in fact, let me just highlight it for you. So for the first dice, okay, we have six possibilities. I'm just highlighting them for you here. So we've got the number one, okay, number two, number three or a number four, or a number five, or a number six. Okay, so that means uh, we've got a six, and here are the here are the probabilities. So we've got a sixth chance of rolling uh, a number one, a sixth chance of rolling a number two, uh, a, a sixth chance of rolling a number three, sixth chance of rolling a number four, sixth chance of rolling a number five, and a sixth chance of rolling a number six. Okay, so just. Make sure you're comfortable with that. Now, the next thing is, um, for the second dice, basically, how I've drawn it, um, I've drawn, I mean, for, for instance, the, um, let me just uh, start again. The reason why I've drawn six small possibilities for each one of these numbers, okay, so there's, there's a smaller tree diagram here, okay, for each one of these, is because in the question it says find the probability as a fraction in its lowest terms that the two dice will show a total score of 8. Now, um, because we're throwing two dice at the same time, okay, we, we can't just draw, okay, I've got a tree diagram here, okay, and then I just do a repeat one for dice 2. I can't simply do that because um, basically, we need we need to find out all the combinations of the numbers. So that means if dice one rolls a number one, okay, dice two could roll any number from one to six, okay. So that's the reason why we have done another tree diagram or six possibilities linked to this one. Same here, six possibilities linked to two, six possibilities linked to three, six, four, and and so on, okay. So, and also just to stress that each one of these lines is also a 6, so it's just a smaller version of, of this, okay? Right, let's get to our question. It says, find the probability that two dice will show a total score of 8. So, we can rule out this possibility, okay, or well, these numbers here, because 6 plus 1, which is our highest uh, sum, is only 7, okay? Let's have a look at the second branch. Well, we've got 2. 2 plus 6 gives us 8, but 2 plus 5 doesn't. So we've got one possibility here. What about here? Uh, we've got um, 3 plus 5, yes. Just checking it's only a score of 8. Okay, so it must be 8. It's not 8 or more. Right. <clears throat> we've got 4 plus 4, yes, we can do that. And do 5 plus 3 here, yes. And we could do 6 plus 2. So that tells me there are five possibilities. Okay, so the probability, okay, that it will be a total score of eight, okay, is indeed uh, five out of 36, okay? And if you count them up, six times six is 36. Okay, so those are the total possibilities. Right, next one it says the two find the probability that the two dice will show the same score as each other. So look, so one one yes, two two yes, three three yes, four four yes, five five and six six. Okay, this should be a straightforward one. So the probability that uh, they show the same score as each other. 
Okay, this is going to be 6 out of 36, which is 1 sixth. Okay, so that's that question. Question 2, and, and that's pretty much it, so we're done, done with this, okay? But again, they could have asked you a whole number of, of different questions regarding um, regarding this tree diagram, okay? But just just to clarify, when it asks you to draw a tree diagram of, let's say, two, two outcomes, um, make sure you do it in this way. So it, let's say, in fact, if it was heads and tails, okay, two coins, okay, here's his heads, here's tails, we've got half a chance there, 50% chance of each one. Next one would be heads, tails, heads and tails. Okay, again, 50%, 50% chance, 50%. And now, just because it's showing us what? Three tree diagrams doesn't mean there are three coins involved here. There's only two coins, okay? But the reason why we draw two possibilities connected to this head is because the other coin could, could flip to either the head or the tails. Okay, and, and vice versa. So just to clarify, this is for two coins, not three. Okay, and in the same way for this, this is for two dice with six possibilities each time. Okay, so don't get confused with that. Right, so just to show you the next question here. So the tree diagram shows the possible outcomes when three number cards are placed in a container and then a card is drawn at random three times. Each time a card is drawn, it is placed on the table next to the previous card drawn. Okay, so just to show you, if they draw out card one, they've still got two more cards to pick. Okay, so 50% chance, so it could be a two or a three. If they pick a two, it's only a 100% chance that the next card will be three, okay? And this, this, so this is how the tree diagram is laid out. It says, Copy the diagram and fill in the probabilities on each branch. So, so let's do that. Okay, so we've got card number one, two, three. This could be two, this could be three, this can be one, this can be three, one, two, and three, two, three, one, two, and one. Okay? This is the first card, I'm just going to say second card, and third card. Right, now, um, so it says fill out the probabilities for each one. So this is obviously going to be a third, because there's three possibilities. Um, and this is going to be half. I'm just going to say half of both, half of both, half of both, and this is 100%. Okay? Right. Um, so we've done that question. How many three-digit numbers can be formed in this experiment? So, pretty much all. One, two, three is a three-digit number. One, three, two, the, all of them are three-digit numbers. Okay? So, let's just look like, how many. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So the answer is six three-digit numbers can be formed. Okay? Uh, what's the next bit? It says, what is the probability of the three-digit number being one, two, three? So, let's have a look. One, two, three. Well, I think that's the only possible one uh, that can be drawn. So, it means it's going to be, so the probability that one, sorry, one, two, three is formed is going to be one out of six. What's the probability that it's greater than 200. So look, obviously that's greater than 200, that's greater than 200, and this is less. So this is going to be 4 out of 6, which is 2 out of 3. Okay? And it says the probability that they are even. So that's not even, this is even, that's not even, that's not even. So I think this is going to be. Um, Two six, which is one third. What is the probability that they're divisible by three?
Okay, so the probability that they are divisible by 3 is all of them. If you, uh, if you use your calculator and divided all of these by 3, uh, you would find all of them do. So it's going to be 6 out of 6, which is 100%, which is 1. Okay, so that's that question. Now, do a past, the last question, past paper question. Uh, so it says, Box A contains three black balls and one white ball. Box B contains three black balls and two white balls. A ball can be chosen at random from either box. Just to show you the pictures there, okay. Copy and complete the following statement. There is a greater probability of choosing a white ball from box blank. Explain your answer. So, one white ball, two white ball, white balls, okay. So basically, it's going to be box B. So your answer you should say, so you should say, um, so there is a greater probability of choosing a ball, a white ball from box B because it has two white balls whereas um, box A has one and then you could even explain the probabilities you could say the probability of a white ball picking a white ball box B is equal to two out of five, whereas the probability of white ball being picked in box A is one out of four. Okay, and you and two over five is greater than one over four. Okay, so that's your explanation there. Right, the next question says um, Abdul chooses a box and then chooses a ball from, from this box at random. The probability that he chooses box A is two-thirds. Copy and complete the tree diagram by writing the four possible probabilities in the empty spaces. Okay, so, if you look at the question, it does give us, um, okay, a tree diagram to, to work, work with, okay? So, the probability that he picks box Box A is two thirds, okay, and we know the probability that the white to get a white ball is one fourth because there are four balls in, in that box and three of them are black, okay, so this is what we have to start off with, okay, so I'm gonna um, do this for you now. So this is gonna be uh, box A, this is gonna be box B, two thirds, and because all probabilities add up to one, this has to be one third here. Okay, this is white, and this is black. Now this is a quarter, so this has got to be three quarters. Okay, and white, uh, black. Okay, we know this is two fifths because there are um, two white balls, and then this is three fifths. Right, so we've done that question, which is copy and complete. Next question. Find the probability that Abdul chooses box A and a black ball. Right. So we need to. This is where we need to combine probabilities. Okay. So this is the extension from chapter eight of basic probability to chapter twenty-four, where we are extending our probability. So the probability that he picks box A is two thirds, and once he's picked that, the probability that he will get or pick a black ball is three quarters. So, in order to find the combination of the probabilities, we basically multiply the um, probabilities together. So, that gives us two thirds times three quarters is six over twelve, which is uh, three over six, which is one half. Okay, 
So that's the answer for part two. Find and the next question. Find the probability that Abdul chooses a black ball. Okay. So this time we need to add the probabilities from here uh, to pick box A and picking uh, a black ball, <coughs> a black ball, and then uh, box B and picking picking a black ball here. Okay. So this time it's going to be probability. Picking a black ball. So this is going to be the same probability here. So I'm going to say a half plus a probability here, which is one third multiplied by three fifths. Okay, because that's that's what that's the probability of this 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 branch here of picking a black ball. So that's one third times three fifths, which is this is a half plus. Um, Three, fifteen. Okay, and if I was to add um, both of these together, this is going to be. Um, so I'm going to make the denominator a co common denominator. I'm going to say thirty. I'm going to say um, two times fifteen gives me thirty. So this is going to be. 15 on the top over 30 plus um, 6 over 30 gives me 21 over 30 and that is equal to 7 over 10 if we simplify that further. Okay, so that's how we um, answer that question. Okay, so to find the probability that he just gets any black ball, okay, it could be from box A or box B, we need to add the probabilities from this branch plus the probabilities from this branch, okay, and that's, and that's what we get here. Right, last question. Tatiana chooses a box and then chooses two balls from this box at random without replacement. The probability that she chooses box A is two thirds, okay, and we're told this already. Two thirds. Now, just be aware. I'm warning you now. This is a red herring. Okay, Ma meaning this. What they just told us actually is to put us off answering the question correctly. So anyway, just continue listening. So find the probability that Tatiana chooses two white balls. Now we know box A has only got one white ball. Box B has got two white balls and it says in the question Tatiana chooses a box and then chooses two balls from that box at random and then it says find the probability that Tatiana chooses two white balls okay so it cannot be box A it cannot be box A it has to be box B but let us uh, just do the maths anyway because basically we want the probability that she gets two white balls. So we know the probability that she gets one white ball from this branch, okay? And that is going to be probability of getting a white ball is going to be two thirds times one quarter, which is two over 12, which is one six. Now, if I was to continue Okay, with a branch here, black here. The probability that she would get a second white ball, okay, is zero out of three. The probability that she gets a, a, a black ball as, as a second pick is 100%, three over three. Now, if I was to multiply zero over three times one six, I would get zero. So let me do that. So 1, 6 times 0 over 3 is 0. So I can literally mathematically exclude box A. Okay? So it has to be uh, box B. So even if I was to add this probability to, to this root, uh, it would still uh, be plus 0. Okay? So let me say, now the probability of getting two whites from um, box B is now this. So uh, it's going to be one third, first of all, times two fifths, which is two over 15. Okay, fine. 
Now I need to do a, another branch here. So there's one white ball left, however there's four um, balls to choose from. And if it was black, so this is white, and if it was black the probability is three out of four. So this time I'm now going to multiply one quarter, well actually, sorry, I should explain. I, I could have just started, I could have just drawn these extra branches here. Okay, so it's one quarter to pick a white ball after she has picked the first white ball with a, a, fra um, a probability of two fifths. So basically, actually, I can just do one third times two fifths times one quarter here. Okay, that, get, that gives me two over three times five is 15 times four is uh, 60. Okay, which is 130. So, that is probably the most um, complex uh, probability question you could get in your exam. So just make sure um, you're familiar with what I've done here. Okay, pause the video if you need to. Um, but that's how you answer those questions.